Hello and welcome to anubhavtrainings.com. In this video tutorial on SAP Analytics Cloud, we will learn about how to add variance to our chart. SAP Analytics Cloud allows us to add variance to the chart to find out the differences between the measures across multiple versions. We can also calculate the difference between two measures. We can also check the difference between measures across time periods. It's very, very helpful to identify and unearthen the patterns, hidden patterns in your data. So let's have a look at an example. Over here, we have the data from Netflix. And first of all, I'm going to add the number of TV shows and movies which are published over last three years on the Netflix. So let's add a bar chart. And probably we'll switch over to a vertical bar chart. Or and then we will add our measure as a count. Let's switch over to the vertical one and also add our dimension as the type. So now you can see here number of TV shows and movies across Netflix. I would like to also add here the release date. So now you can see it is showing me the data here for different release dates. We can expand the hierarchy, which is time hierarchy, to find out how it is increasing or decreasing over years, the number of movies, as well as TV shows. Now, more importantly, currently my scope for analysis is only last three years. So let's add a filter with a range of last three years. And now you can see we see the last three years data, including current year data on the chart for both movies and TV shows. Now, I wanted to find out what is the progress of release of movies and TV shows as compared to year on year basis. So basically, we wanted to add a variance to our chart, which is going to compare the previous year with the current year. To do that, we can add a variance on the chart. So let me go ahead and say compare to open variance panel and now you can see we've got a variance panel the moment variance is added there's a chart which also comes up parallel to our existing chart which is now ready to show the comparison between the previous and the new measure values over years and this comparison will be done based on two values the so-called value a and value b so what I will do is in the value A, I will go ahead and choose my dimension as date added. And I will say, get me for the current period. And of course, system automatically identifies the, uh, the comparison with the previous period and which is what we also wanted. So you can see between 2017 and 18, there was an increment of number of movies on the Netflix by count of 342. Between the 18 and 19, the increment was 216. And now you can see in year 2020, this has been declined by 1310. On the same note, you can also see the increment and decrement in TV shows on the platform over the last three years. Now, we can see the values as absolute values, or we can also modify the display options to change these values according to our need. Currently, system will show any change in the positive way as a green color or any change in the negative as a red. We can also go ahead and invert these colors. I'll switch it back. Now we can also choose a name. We can say baseline for the variant. Okay. Now, what we will also do is we can also show here the percentage increment or decrement instead of the absolute value. So let's add a percentage as well. And now you would see that percentage will also be added over here as a second chart. So there is a clear decline of 90% in terms of movies and 96% in terms of shows as this year is anyway continuing, of course, more and more data gets added, then this will change probably. Now, the next thing what we can also do, we can merge this variance data straight ahead directly with the chart. Rather than showing them as a separate chart, 
we can say please show the variance data as data labels and now you can see it's no more showing separate variance data rather it has merged the data to the chart itself so there is a year-on-year -year increase about 17.50 percent into the number of movies as compared to 18 and 19 and right now there's a 90 percent decline in movies when it comes to year-on-year -year 19 and 20. You can also show this as integrated option and now you can see those variance data the green and red is actually integrated within the chart we, we will leave it with the data label option which is the most appropriate and suitable option and show the values only as percentages and we can click on ok so now you can see your values let's save our story and we can also go in the view mode so you can see the view mode it's now showing the percentage values which is an increment and decrement on year on year basis in the number of movies as well as tv shows published on the netflix so i hope you like this demo session on adding variance to the chart if you would like to learn end-to-end -end sap analytics cloud feel free to subscribe our training on sap analytics cloud on anubavtrainings.com with more real life and real time examples and end-to-end -end training with bi planning analytic designer and predictive scenarios with us on anubavtrainings.com Thanks for watching.